Yo, peace world, it's the love king of R&B, Raheem Devon, kicking it with my girl, Brianna, right here on Hip Hop United. Keep it Okay, Hip Hop United All Access, this is Brianna, and we're here today with the legendary Raheem Devon. How you, how you doing? I'm doing good, full of blessed. Most definitely. So I do appreciate you for, you know, taking the time out to speak to me today. No problem. Thank you for having me. No problem. No problem. Let's get into it. So now, Mr. Midnight, that's what you're pushing right now. Um, that's correct. You know, talk to us about that. What was the inspiration behind that? Uh, well, Mr. Midnight is the second single um, that we released uh, off of the What a Time to Be in Love album, which is highly anticipated and will be out this Friday. Um, available on all digital platforms. Also, we're shipping out from our online store physical copies. So anybody that wants to get a physical copy uh, of the new album, which which also has Mr. Midnight on it, um, you can do so by clicking on the Instagram link in my bio, the Twitter link in my bio, the Facebook link in my bio, and it'll take you right to the virtual store where you can put your purchase in. Um, the first single was uh, Marvin Used to Say, which is a socially conscious record. I wanted to kind of set the tone right with all that was going on in the world. And then right. we wanted to drop the sexy side, you know, of my brand uh, with Mr. Midnight. You know, it's a very sexually induced record, grown and managed. I'm, talk I'm, I'm talking that talk on it, you know. Okay. And um, we also released a new single, uh, Twilight, um, mm -hmm. on November 15th, um, you know, leading up to the album as well. You know, we'll unlock a song, unlock a song here, unlock a song there, just to build the anticipation. So right now, it's, it's buzzing like the piece of man right now. <laughs> so let me ask you, did, did the pandemic have something to do with, with this new single? Because, you know, everybody in the house, everybody chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, people want to get it in. I think, you know, create that sense of escapism. You know, where all is going on in the world, I still want to promote the, 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 that energy, put that energy out there, black love and intimacy. You know what I'm saying? I think that's right. a, I think that's the good thing to be to be uh feeling right now and experiencing you know right most definitely now i i was looking at your social media did you um th did you do the funk fest did it happen yes um um the okay. only show that postponed canceled and, and, and actually moved to another state and another date was the atlanta show um unfortunately okay. you know i was supposed to do a a, a drive-in uh concert you know where Fans pull up in their cars, we're outside. I pull up, jump on stage, do the performance, jump back in the car, right? Uh, very friendly. Unfortunately, um, some of the staff that was down in Atlanta um, tested positive for COVID that would have been working the concert. So um, at that point, you know, we had, to, we had to shut it down. I had been working um, strategically through the pandemic, doing some driving concerts. Um, you know, I just had to go to LA, for example, to, to shoot a video. Mm -hmm. um, anything that I've had to do related to um, television or filming and stuff like that. There were COVID tests that were um, rapid, what they call them, rapid COVID tests mm -hmm. on the spot mm -hmm. taken like that. So, um, you know, it's something that I'm taking very serious and, and, and you know, oh, yeah. when the fans do out, you know, I encourage them to do the same. Um, I have a show in a couple of days. In fact, um, um, I forgot what part is this is the part of Alabama we're gonna be in. I believe Mobile. I got one okay. coming up for Mobile, which is um an outside event as mm -hmm. well. You know, pull up. Um, I be, I'm not sure if that's a pull up in your car or mm -hmm. you or or or, or, or you are or you're outside on the grounds. Um, if we do like typically Funk Fest, they've been doing stadiums and out, outside, and it's like 50 50 percent capacity. Mm -hmm. Um, as well, uh, you know very COVID friendly, but COVID enforced, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in terms of um, rules and safety and stuff of that nature. So has, has the pandemic um, helped you at all or hurt you? Because I know a lot of people have been saying, you know, it's, it, they yeah, still I would say keep moving, definitely, really. Definitely hasn't been a help, I don't think, to anybody. It's been a huge inconvenience. You know, we took, taking a, I've taken a huge financial hit, you know, I'm sure like many others in my business, you know, um, it's tricky with entertainment. It's kind of like one of the last things people going to be trying to spend their money on, you know, unless they feel like it's absolutely worth it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think that, um, you know, I've been doing some online concerts and finding new ways to reinvent the brand and stuff like that. So I got some cool things coming definitely for the fall and winter as things close back down and it gets cold. You can't perform outside, you know? So right. um, I will series of online concerts and content and stuff like that. 
um, okay. you know, pre preparing for that as well. Most definitely, most definitely. Now, you you, you pushing some uh, merchandise? Oh, definitely, definitely. I do um I do some unique things with my merch in terms of like auctions and one on ones and stuff like that. So most of my most of my transactions are organic and hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. purposely, meaning you know, virtually in mm -hmm. a sense. You know, I vibe and hey man, we got twenty of these. You know what I'm saying? These sizes and take literally take the orders right then and boom boom. You know, I'm an organic kind of person. You know what I mean? So I like to have that connection with with the consumer. You know, as things get bigger and the brand gets bigger and it, and it, and it expands, um, you know, I, I would imagine that we, you know, it, it won't be as easy to do that. But for now, um, you know, cause merch is kind of like a new thing for me. Mm -hmm. um, that I, other than physical copies of the product, I, I think like, you know, the hand hands, but this is more, it's got that personal touch to it, you know? Most definitely. Can we expect any um, a video from this new single that you're pushing? Because uh, I was looking at the visualizer on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Um, video is almost done. Uh, Mr. Midnight video is coming extremely soon. Uh, Marv used to say we got a video in the can for that. And I got video content coming for every record on this, you know, every song on this, on, on this record, on this album. Most definitely. I can't wait to see. You know, I've always been a fan of uh, yours, Raheem. From just me being in Thank high you. school, most definitely, most definitely. All right. Well, is there anything else um, you want to promote that I didn't ask you about? Because I know we got to wrap up. Well, I have I have my foundation, the Love Life Foundation. I do a, a gang of community work. So shout out to the Love Life Foundation uh, for information on what I'm doing with them. You can follow us on Instagram at Love Life DMV. Once again, that's at Love Life DMV, or you can log on to Love Life DMV. Um, excuse me, Love Life Foundation DMV.org. Once again, that's Love Life Foundation DMV.org. Um, you know, follow me on social media, Instagram and Twitter at Raheem underscore Devon. I'm on Facebook.com forward slash Raheem Devon, YouTube.com forward slash Raheem Devon. Keep it locked. Love life. All right, one love. All right.